today I wanted to give a shout out to one of my subscribers, Nicole. She sent me some beautiful happy mail. This is the first time I've received happy mail and um, I'm so excited. Um, you know, I've been lucky to connect with so many of you lovely artists out there and um, this really makes my channel worth keeping alive just for the sake of being in touch with you. Um, and um, basically she sent me this little pouch which is really lovely because it reminds me of my holidays in New York you know many years ago and I absolutely love going to the States although I haven't been there for a little while but I, I have been there a few times and absolutely love it and she sent me this, uh, this really cool little pouch which I, I'll be able to reuse when I take my um, art supplies with me when I travel so that's perfect and she's included some beautiful little cards in there that she's made herself um, just so pretty this one says happy mail it's really cool it's really nice Nicole I love it and a beautiful little note behind that I'll keep private and another hand painted little card as well just so gorgeous it reminds me of um, the rose stamps that I've used in some of my tutorials actually so thank you so much Nicole and um, the reason she sent me something original was because I couldn't find the water-based Sharpie paints here in Australia in the size that I wanted so I she offered to send me one and instead of sending me one pen she actually sent me a whole bunch of them Nicole you are so lovely so she sent me all her favorite white pens that is so awesome including a few that I've never tried before, like the Jelly Roll pen. So I'd be really excited to, to have a go at those. A water brush, which I use quite often. Thank you for that. I'll make good use of it. And uh, even a little cute little glue sticks, very useful. And another little black pen, again, that I've been wanting to try, but I haven't found in Australia the, uni the, sorry, the multiple pilot. So, Nicole, thank you so much. I absolutely love you. Thank you so much. Hello my creative friends, I hope that you're doing really well today and uh, that you're ready to embark on another journey with me in my art journal. This is my second Moleskine journal. I haven't done much yet in it, just a couple of pages and just playing still. And as um, you know, quite often I don't know where I'm going with my um, art journal pages. I just sort of start and see where the flow takes me. So. Um, all I know today is that um, I really like this little painting I did a little while ago and I'd like to do something a little bit similar. So I'm going to go along these lines of um, greens and mauve and turquoise color, a little bit pastel I guess because they just, they just feel very calming to me. So um, I'm going to create something a little bit with those colors today and see where we go. All right, let's get going. Okay, first a little bit of light blue and a little bit of mauve and I'm going to just spread that around with my fingers not a care in the world because I've already have some blobs of paint everywhere I'm trying to put any on my clothes and then we'll do a little bit of the same with the blue for those of you who have um, not seen any of my videos, you may be a little bit shocked seeing that I'm very messy spreading this paint around, but fear not. It all has a purpose and in the end, I hope it will look good. <laughs> if it doesn't, doesn't, then we'll just um, erase this video and not tell anyone about it, right? We'll just stay secret between you and I. So anyway, this light blue and this mauve are going to go really well together. So I know that I can blend them without any worry. They're not going to create any mud. And they just look fantastic combined together. So let's spread a little bit more paint. And I'll be right back with you in a moment when I'm done with the background. I might add another color, probably a little bit of a aqua green, I think, next. And be right back with you.
Okay, so my background is now dry and as you can see It's quite messy, which is good. You know me by now. I hope messy is good Don't think just play so I'm going to tone this down with a little bit of white and just in the same way, I'm going to spread a little bit of white around. Messy, but can you tell? Look at this. It's just like little fluffy clouds. I love this effect. It's just, and I'm just playing, you know, adding paint with my fingers, not caring at all what it looks like. Not too much anyway. So I'm just adding a bit of white. It just adds a little bit of depth. To this background a bit more um, nuances of color and it's very easy to do at the same time and you could obviously do this with another color if you wanted to but I just want to try to keep um, this page or these pages a little bit sort of pastely then again you know I often say that and then I end up doing something really bright I don't know why it's an addiction. I just can't help it, guys. Help. Is there a clinic out there somewhere? Like color addicts or something like that? Anonymous. The CAA. There you go. <laughs> I'm sure I'd, I'd have a few of you join me there. We could all have fun. Ah, wouldn't that be good? One day my dream is to, um, you know, have complete workshop I already do workshop in my or some workshops in my studio in person and that's really fun but they're just small groups and I'd love to do slightly bigger groups so if any of you wants to come and join me in person I'm in Sydney by the way if you don't know yet and if you haven't realized I've got them some strange um, Australian accent there mixed with who knows what <laughs> but anyway if you want to come and join me one day and have a bit of a play and mess up some paint with our fingers like I'm doing now that would be awesome so one day one day okay I think that's enough white I'm going to dry this off and keep going now I'm going to add a little bit of this beautiful green iridescent paint love it love it love it again with my fingers not everywhere, just little patches, just once again. And if you have any um, questions about this page you'd like to ask, any art related questions or questions directly to me about anything really, I'd be happy to answer them. The only thing is I don't really like answering questions on YouTube that much so I don't and that's why I always direct people to my website because it's a lot more personal There and I can actually talk to you if you have a questions and reply without going through YouTube first and That also mean that if I answer a question that somebody has already asked then again, I can sort of avoid repeating the same things because it's a little bit time-consuming but as you know I love to help so if you have any questions, just come over to my blog. I'll put a link um, on this screen right now and also in the YouTube video descriptions. So you can just click on it and go straight there and I'll be happy to see you over there. Okay, that green is just delicious. I'll give you a little close up. Gorgeous, isn't it? And I'm going to dry this off before moving on to the next step. Okay, everything's dry. I'm now going to stamp some pretty flowers on my spread here. Um, I've got this set, which is actually one sheet like this. I just cut it in the middle because it didn't fit in my little stamp box, you know. So I just hacked it in half. Um, Honestly, I can't quite remember where I bought this from. It wasn't a, a you know, a big brand. I'm pretty sure it was from Kmart in Australia here, so... But as long as you find something similar, it doesn't really matter what the flower looks like. So I'm going to use this one here. And you don't even need a stamp really to do that. You could just um, draw it yourself. I mean, this one's really not rocket science. 
I'm feeling lazy today. <laughs> I'm gonna use my acrylic block because it's a little bit, you know, wobbly, a bit hard to keep straight by hand. And I'm going to, I'm just looking in my box for my purple stamp pad. So I keep sort of in, you know, in the same color scheme of purple. So let's do that and stick that on. There you go. And then I'm going to put one about here, a little bit of an angle. When you put things at an angle, it always looks a little bit more interesting than having, you know, things too straight. Oops. Ah! Disaster! <laughs> no, we're still there. This one may not be that sticky anymore. I'm going to have to clean it up afterwards. I'm going to do another... The only thing with this stays on ink is when you put it on your actual acrylic block, it doesn't come off very well. So I like to clean it up as soon as I notice. And then let's see, maybe another couple here. The bottom. And that actually comes off. It's not meant to, but that's okay. I pressed too hard and then I'm going to do another one on the right page. It probably is going to peel off again. Let's do another sort of medium height, a little bit more at an angle as well. So that way I've got a bit of interest by having a tall one, a shorter one, and then one roughly in the middle here. I'm going to stamp the excess onto a spare page like this one. That way it cleans my stamp at the same time and adds a little bit of texture for another spread later on. Okay, I think that's almost all gone. All right, done. I'm gonna sort of heat set that quickly. We've got a few marks here from pressing the pages together earlier, but you know, I'm not too worried about that. We can always disguise them later. I think it would be nice to use something else from these ones, like uh, maybe these tall sort of grass. Again, they might not be that sticky, but we'll see. Just a bit of interest a little bit at the bottom of those flowers. Again, I'm just varying the height so they don't all look too similar. Cleaning up my stamp. <laughs> Let's see what else I could use from this set. Uh, maybe, maybe this one. Actually, this one would be good because it's sort of a mix between the tall grass and the little dots from the flowers. So perfect. Let's grab that one off. And I'm going to put one, oh, I've put some white paint there. Messy, messy today. Uh, let's do a short one here. Re-ink the top. And a taller one here. Mm, towards the center here. And then maybe a short one here as well would be good. Just to top it. I'm not going to ink up everything. Where did I say? Here or here? Uh, mm, maybe. Okay, I'll do it here. 
Okay, should I put one more? Yeah, it feels like I should put one more. <laughs> one last one. Maybe about here. Ah, I moved it a little bit. Okay. All right, try this off. So now I'm going to use um, this stencil that has a leaf motif on there. So it's kind of in keeping with the flowers, flowers and leaves, you know, good combination. <laughs> I wonder why, <laughs> duh. <laughs> um, and I'm going to put, I already have a bit of white left on my palette. I'm going to add some turquoise. A little blob get rid of that paint peeling thing and use a little piece of um, kitchen sponge and dip it a little bit in the turquoise and in the white until I get a color I like and then I'm going to um, add a few leaves here and there I'm going to start from the top and move down I'm not going to do the whole thing just random I'll try not to do the whole thing. I don't know about you guys, but you know, when I'm stenciling something, I just, it's hard to stop for some reason. <laughs> it's so much fun. So I'm just gonna do, maybe I add a bit more, not much white left. Let me add a little bit more. There we go. And just add a bit more white for extra contrast. And using this sponge also gives you a little bit of texture, which is pretty cool. And you can add as much texture as you like. See, I said I wouldn't do all the leaves here, and I've pretty much used them all. Silly me. I'll peel that off. Pretty. All right, I'm going to... Let's see if my stencil's not too... No, it's actually quite clean on the other side, so I can keep going. Um, I'll try not to mess up that one. Too much so I can add a few more. Let's see. Maybe about here. I'm trying to spread them out a little bit. And you don't have to do the whole leaf, you know, it could just be a little section of it. Because we just want a little bit of, of a pattern in the background, not the whole uh, motif necessarily. Just spreading it, that's all, put down here, let's see, yeah, that's enough, and stencil, still pretty clean, so I'm going to do the other side, and I'm going to alternate a little bit so it's not too even, I'm going to rotate it just in case. If you go over your stamped flowers, that's okay, because we're going to paint over later on. <laughs> so don't worry. So no need to be too neat. Let's move this down. I'm going to try to keep the stem clean. The stem, not the stamp. And add a few more. Go back here. A bit more of that dark turquoise, we're gonna put it here. And for all the supplies that I'm using, um, they will be listed on the blog. So again, I'll put a link for you guys in the description below. And I may also add it on the screen here, so you know where to go exactly without looking for anything. So if you want to know what I use, then just go there. 
All right, I'm happy with that. And it's a bit of, you know, some leaves passing through the sky as, you know, it happens all the time. <laughs> I'm going to dry this off and then we'll do something else. Okay, everything's dry, my stencil's clean. I usually try to clean my stencils under running water as soon as I'm finished with them, just so they don't get uh, all crusty with paint. And my fingers were starting to turn blue, so I washed them as well because I didn't want you to think that I was turning into a Smurf. <laughs> Did anyone used to watch the Smurf as a kid? It used to be my favorite cartoon absolutely loved it and uh, I was forced to, forced to go to ballet classes when I was little and um, I, I hated it absolutely hated it I'm the most ungraceful person you could find my uh, back's quite rigid and um, I'm not saying I walk like a hippo but you know <laughs> I'm just it's just not my thing at all and um, it the classes used to coincide with um, the episodes of the Smurfs on TV, which was only once a week, and I used to cry and ask my parents not to send me, and because I'd miss my favorite show, but, you know, they were just really tough with me. It was either ballet or nothing, so I missed out. I know you're feeling sorry for me, aren't you? <laughs> Anyway, if you guys used to watch the Smurf, if you ever, if, was it even aired in the States, for instance? I'd love to know. I don't know how famous these little blue guys were, but, you know, I just, I don't know what it was. It was just, they were cute and, you know, fun. It was something really fun to watch. But anywho, um, so I've added a bit of magenta on my palette here. And I'm going to add a little bit of white because I've run out next to it not much just a little blob and I'm going to use a little brush like this it's a little bit pointy end and this one the bristles are a little bit stiff I'm not going to um, do anything with them because I just want to do little dots so I'm going to dip my brush in the pink and the white at the same time and I'm just going to do follow those dots here and add um, lots of dots and that hot pink is really going to look great on top of the mauve and the greens and blues it's going to be lovely so I'm just going to add some more I'm going to do this up and down so it doesn't get too messy if it starts getting messy then just stop dry that area and then start adding more go around you don't have to follow the exact shape of the flower you could make it a lot bigger and you can also use other colors obviously I'm going to do this here I'm going to do a few on those oh you guys I forgot to show you the close-up of the leaf motif earlier so just there you go, just so you can see, you can see the flower that I'm doing at the same time. How it looks, there's hardly any paint on there. And if you've got too much of uh, the white, for instance, just wipe it off a little bit here and add more pink. So I'm going to add a few more here. I'm still going to leave some of the dots from the stamp showing through. Why not? They're already there, so I'm going to use them. A bit of white. And just try to vary um, the colors as well. Maybe one of them can have more pink, the other a little bit more white, just to make it a bit more interesting. You could do the dots a little bit bigger and a bit smaller. It's really up to you. It's your journal after all. So again, I'm going to grab a bit more of the hot pink and just keep going. don't know if you can hear the fan in the background. I've got a ceiling fan. I just had to put it on. It's just really humid today in Sydney and I heard a bit of a rumble in the sky earlier so 
storm might be around the corner which I hope so actually because I really love storms I mean there's just something especially when you're in bed you know you're just all curled up and you've got the blankets all the way to your neck and it's just bucketing outside and there's thunder and lightning and you're just all cozy in your bed all warm and safe it's just an amazing feeling really amazing at the same time that reminds me of people who are not so fortunate who are actually in the street without a roof on their head that dampens the moment a little bit and I do think about them too but happy thoughts for now a little bit more spink here what do you think guys it's a simple technique but I, I like it and that pink really pops off the page I love it so I'm going to let's see I'm going to dry these off and then while I'm doing this I'll think of what to do next I'm going to first wipe that out and put it in water before it dries okay all dry and uh, while I was drying all this decided to add a bit more white just to sort of echo the white in the flowers a little bit and just to bring a little bit more depth again I'm going to use my one of my favorite stencils a clean um, bit of sponge and some white and add a little bit of texture here and there see how that looks yes that's cool looks like snow falling down I'm going a bit over the leaves as well just to incorporate everything and I'm put a few down here so the page is a bit more uniform this is turning out quite pretty you guys I hope you're enjoying this if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to see more of these please do because it helps me to know that you're enjoying what I'm sharing with you when I see all those likes and your comments and the number of subscribers going up then it's very motivating for me so I hope this channel can grow it a bit more and more and more and we can all create things together I love when you share your work with me too that's so cool I absolutely love it when I see that you found some inspiration from one of the tutorials it's awesome really makes my day and again if you want to share anything with me or like a picture that you've posted on Facebook or something like that um, send me a link you can post it on my blog again same thing the creative tribe is the page on my blog where I um, share with you and comment reply to comments and all that so definitely come over and show me what you've created actually I was thinking of um, is it worth um, opening a new Facebook page so we can all share things together there from those tutorials that I'm putting out what do you think you know I'd really love to know I, I've been thinking about that for a bit and um, I don't know everyone's you know in different various or well, in various um, Facebook groups and social media everywhere so I don't know if that's something that you'd be interested in and it would definitely be easier to share pictures and um, talk to each other on there so let me know if that's something you'd be interested in you know something that is more ori oriented um, towards my work obviously and the tutorials and all of that and anyway let me know and um, depending on what you let me know about then maybe I can create one and we can all join there and have a little uh, cult you know <laughs> okay time to dry this off before we move on oh you guys I can hear thunder I don't know if you can hear it maybe not but anyway I'm going to add a bit of iridescent blue peel that crust off first oh it's really crusty okay never mind we'll leave it on <laughs> and add a little bit of this iridescent blue on my page a little bit over those white dots I've just added so we're integrating everything 
absolutely love this blue it makes me so happy it's so gorgeous here it is in blue and green just fabulous again I'll put all the supplies on the blog you'll find the link I'm even putting some on my table here why not um, yeah all the supplies will be on my blog post link in description and on the screen a bit more blue down here it's one of those things I have trouble stopping myself from spreading around because it's so pretty I'll show you the effect isn't that gorgeous so shiny love love it all right uh, again have to dry this off darn it I'm going to add a little bit of a border around um, this spread by using more of the pink that I used before again that will help everything um, sort of join each other or link together so I'm just going to dip my finger in paint not too much and then just rub the outside edge with it some areas I'll put a bit more paint and some I'll just be a little bit more light and give it a bit of a grungy look I'm gonna turn the pages around so it's easier very quick and easy to do If you find that you've just added too much just grab a baby wipe like this and just take it off go lightly because you may not need to remove the whole thing if you do then just go a bit harder and remove all the paint there's not really any right or wrong in when you're painting and doing mixed media especially in your art journal you know it's supposed to be free and well carefree really and just have fun there's no mistakes never and if you think there is one then you can always fix it somehow okay that's the border adds a little something and I'm going to add I'm gonna let this dry by itself I think I can work around it but I'm gonna add some details around the flowers with a white pen um, I'm going to use a white sharpie thanks Nicole and I'm going to do little dots around my flowers just little subtle pretty dots it doesn't have to be all even it's okay I'm just roughly following the circle shape of the flower head there we go and then we could add some along the stems it doesn't have to be all the way just a few here and there interest you could also add some on the little dots we've created before just to make them even more interesting gives it a bit more depth actually down here some down there so we just want them to be subtle they don't have to be all over the place if you do all the stems it might look a little bit you know a little bit overdone 
could also add some on the border around and then I mean it's pretty already as it is you could add a quote here or do something else I'm trying to think give me a moment I'll think of what we could add maybe a quote let me think of something inspiring Ooh, the pressure <laughs> okay I'll be back in a sec so I was just gone for two minutes and I basically just jumped into my computer onto my Pinterest account. I have a board on there called Inspiring Words and I just keep um, words and quotes that I really like in there for when I need a little bit of inspiration. And one that I like that I haven't used yet is one that just simply says, fall in love with your life. And you know, there's not much to say about that really. <laughs> it's a simple quote that expresses a lot. Um, you know, it just you get all these images appearing in your head and those feelings of excitement, at least for me anyway. So it, it says a lot with just a few words, which is amazing and beautiful at the same time. So I've decided just to um, stamp those words on the top area here. So I'm going to fast forward this bit because otherwise you'll fall asleep. This is a slow process. So let's get to it. That looks awesome. I really like this. I hope you do too. I'm going to give you a quick close up. And just to tie things uh, with, well, these words with the rest, I'm going to add just a few little white dots around. Just, you know, some little squiggles, doodle doodles. I would don't want to cover the words because I love the way they look as they are now. Just simplicity so just a few white dots again we can add a few around um, but I think I'm happy with that hope you've enjoyed this tutorial let me know and if you like my style of painting and you're still new at mixed media and uh, painting in general, then uh, please do check out my book. It's finally released uh, only a few days ago, so I'm very excited. So would love your support on that. And um, it's full of fun tutorial from tutorials. Sorry, I can't speak English today. <laughs> from start to finish that uh, will teach you lots of little mixed media techniques very easily so you learn you know very quickly and they're very fun and I've um, videoed or filmed all those tutorials as well and the whole lot is also available as an e-course so if you enjoy this and you want to learn how to create paintings from start to finish either in your art journal or on a canvas 
uh, it doesn't matter which surface you want to use then do check it out and let me know all right guys that's all for now make sure that you too are in love with your life and um, stay tuned for another video before too long see you guys thanks for watching bye